I discuss five main points today. The first point I discussed was about Parikshit Maharaj's gratitude. How, instead of being resentful, that despite being so virtuous and so devoted, despite being a descendant of such great devotees, such a terrible curse had befallen him. Instead of that, not why do bad things happen to good people, but when bad things happen, what do good people do? That was his question. And yes, Krishna has been so kind that the sages have come to help me in my final journey. He was grateful for that. And with that theme, I took an acronym of how we can cultivate gratitude. What was the acronym? Here. E was emotion. So here, at least when good things happen in our life, we feel grateful. So in one sense, this is the most basic level. And sometimes we may lack that also because we are not grateful that some good thing happened. We are resentful that it happened so late. So if that's happening to us, catch ourselves. No, let me be grateful that it happened. This is the most basic level of gratitude. Then second was attitude. So attitude means we, con we don't just wait for the good feeling to come. We work for that good feeling by consciously seeking to notice what are the good things that are happening in our life. So maybe before we start our chanting or every night before sleeping, we look back and see, okay, what are the good things that happen in my life? And these two, in one sense, are subjective. They are inside us. They are about how we look at things. But beyond how we look at things, there is how things are. And that is the last two parts. What are the last part? The second last part? R was reminder. So reminder that goodness exists in the world. So we may have had bad experiences with people, but there are times when people have been good to us. So we remind ourselves of that. That will prevent us from being cynical. That will keep our, keep our, if not our faith, at least our positivity, openness towards people and humanity at large. And the last was, S was sign. It's a reminder of people's goodness and sign of God's goodness. Why the difference between sign? Because you know we we, we don't really see God directly in the world, but. In our life, good has happened, bad has happened. Uh, either we attribute both to God or we attribute both to fortune. And if we focus on the good that has happened, we see that as the evidence of God's goodness. As Shula Prabhupada did, as my mother taught me to do. Then we will find that we, gratitude will actually become a devotional virtue for us. It will not only be conducive to our emotional health, but will also promote our spiritual health. And when we are grateful in this way, we can also radiate devotional gratitude to others. So Prabhupada was grateful even though he had no facility when he was on the coast of America. He was grateful that he had the opportunity for service. And we all have abandoned opportunities in our life. So we all can cultivate gratitude similarly. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.